Hi guys. Okay. So I just did Gemini Libra Aquarius the first two weeks of December 2019. I will tell you they were extremely harsh. It just, it took too much. It didn't take too much energy from me, but it took a lot of energy. Okay. Um, so I'm going to call it quits for a little while today and I will continue throughout the week to get these uploaded for you. Um, comma. It's it's hitting people and I, I knew I knew it was, okay. Um but this time around it's is a big big dose for some people and it's gonna go really good for other people and others uh life is going to decline. And I'd like to say you know, some people I would I would love to say that um it's going to decline for things to get better okay but it's just not for some of you and that means if that is the case you have been manipulating situations in your life for such a long time that you know karma does not forget an address I'll put it that way and um Things are going to be exposed. And it, it's, it's not easy. Okay. I don't, I don't think I've ever had karma hit as hard as I saw it get hit today. With especially for my Libra, strong Libra placements. Okay. Uh, Libra women, actually. Um. I just, it's, it's mind blowing. Uh, others of you, okay, it's, it's going to be a little dose of karma to get you on track. Nothing you can't handle. But I, what I saw in the cards was just awful but necessary. I, I don't know what you've done. You know, throughout the years, maybe somebody else doesn't even recognize what you've done yet throughout the years. All I know is that I, I, I wish everyone the best in this journey. You know, um, Saturn's going to hit hard December 26th, guys, as soon as that full moon in Capricorn hits and that is the biggest you're already feeling it now and it, it's just gonna hit it's like that song just came to me slam da, 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 da. <laughs> so I I'm I'm um whomever's being hit like that I wish you the very best. It's time to reflect. It's time to figure out what you want in your life. It's not time to sit back. Change is good. Saturn brings change, okay? But not everybody needs change. But what I'm seeing, change is needed. And change has been needed for a very long time, okay? Um, others of you, is is fear. And it is time to go in a new direction, Um Maybe dealing with somebody who's in the public eye, going in a new direction, or you're going towards somebody, or somebody's coming towards somebody who's in the public eye. It, it's like a small victory. So that is saying to me, it's, it's bittersweet. Saturn's getting you on a new path. Okay. Um, we're probably going to see lots of makeup breakups. Uh, I don't... Uh, I, there's going to have to be breakups before makeups. Um... I just needed a little a little break. Um, oh yeah, change changes, changes beneficial sometimes. Okay, maybe not so much for the other person. You got two sixes. Maybe not so much for the other person, but definitely, if life is changing drastically, you know, that's that's the way it had to go. Somebody's life will decline, and others will just, you know, 
go there's some type of unconditional love here with the 66 it's a powerful number it's a healing number it's faith it's it's divine trust to the 66 is all about um unconditional love um so it i did mention that the other day to someone um everlasting love some of you are going to get that and others of you are, are moving away from it knowing that you you don't have it it's one of the most powerful numbers of unconditional love for the divine and it's it's trusting in the divine to to take this to go after it you know it also the 66 also talks about um regards to your family life once you go in a new direction Enjoy the relationships, the companionships that will become very close to you, given lovingly and freely and very unconditionally. You know what I mean? So it's like people are going in a new direction. It's, it's either you, you go after, it's, well, okay. It's like, it's like karmic lessons. You want it's going to be different for everyone um because from what i'm seeing like the the situations i saw with the karma in the air is more it, there's no unconditional love in, in in those stories you know um somebody needs to release in order to go towards the happiness it, it's that simple Someone needs to go in a new direction to have unconditional love, unconditional fulfillment, happiness within a household. Okay? So right now, everybody in this world needs to release what no longer serves them. It's, it's that simple. And if you don't, it is going to be ripped from you, taken from you. And if you refuse it and you fight it, you are going to get stomped on. Stomped. This is a harsh, harsh time of year for people. Okay, so whatever is not working for you, please um, take yourself out of that equation and go in a new direction because your direction is extremely positive. Even if you have to take yourself out of a relationship to go in a new direction, a relationship that you know could have even had potential or not, you know, could have brought happiness, uh, but it, it wasn't full, it wasn't fulfillment. You don't get that fulfillment until you go in a new direction and release what no longer serves you. Um, and this is basically... <sighs> There's so much going through my head about Saturn. We're definitely going to have to do a huge conversation on it. But, you know, you, if you know you're not happy in your life, find something new that fulfills you. If you're not getting 100 out of a situation, it really is like that. Saturn doesn't play. Okay. So, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back manana. We'll, uh, we'll get through some more zodiacs and we'll do some daily reads. Okay. Just stay positive. Stay optimistic. Release what no longer serves you. Is the most important message I can give you. If you're comfortable and content, then you don't really got to worry about it. It's just going to be little ups and downs. But if you're really in a situation where you know it's no good and you're holding on for the wrong reasons, you know, it's, karma's going to stomp, stomp your ass, depending on who you are and what type of situation you're holding on to. It really just depends. Okay. Um... We got some harsh, harsh karma, karma out there right now. We have a situation where it's a long time relationship or a marriage, however it is, and it's needing to get out of it. And some of you are, and the other one is fighting to hold on to you, but fighting in, in such a, a wrong way and, and manipulating the energy, and somehow always seems to do that. And that one is getting a massive dose of, of karma. I don't know what they've been up to throughout the years, but um, obviously something that the husband or wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, however it goes down, has not picked up on. But it's just, um, it's 
lie, stuff's going to be exposed. And, and even stuff being exposed, is this person still wants to stay in that situation. After lies, deception, deceit, and it's not the first time. It's, you know, constantly passing judgment on someone. Constantly not letting certain stuff go. Bickering, arguing. Um... And, and the lesson is for you to disengage, you know, um, and, and it's, you won't, it's like you're fighting for this person for staying in your life for all the wrong reasons. So it looks like the masculine, it's like, it's like the woman's going to get a massive dose of karma, but the masculine, it's, it's very karmic cycle too, because I don't know if they got two people to choose from or not. It looks like if there was a third party, somebody took themselves out of it. So if anything, it's like they got to take themselves out of their situation for them, for the best thing for them. And and the wife or the husband is going to fight to stay in it. And the person, the husband, the other person, her husband or wife has to fight to get out of it. <laughs> you know, to seek a new path, to seek fulfillment. Is 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 whoa. <laughs> so I'll see you manana. Have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. Love you guys so much. Bye.